A Great Dane can grow to be the size of a small horse, but don't let his large, rectangular head and lean muscles intimidate you. He's a gentle giant, a loving, loyal, and wonderful addition to any family. He cohabitates well with children and smaller animals, with proper supervision. Because he's so gangly, he might accidentally step on those shorter than him, and feel really bad about it. Because of the Great Dane's extra-large size, food and veterinarian bills can add up. And that often catches owners by surprise, says Jamie Lynn Durse, DVM, founder of Veterinary House Call Care in Libertyville, Ill. I don't think people realize how big they're going to get and how expensive they are, Durse says. Before I move on with the video, I want to ask you a simple question. Do you want to train your dog for any basic commands like sit and stay? Do you want to stop any of the behavioral problems of your dog like pooping inside the house, biting, jumping, or barking? If your answer is yes, please grab the free dog training secrets guide in which I have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that professional dog trainers don't want you to know about. These training secrets would help you have a well-behaved, super intelligent, smart and obedient dog without spending hours in training him or her. This secret training technique ebook is available for free only for a limited time. So go and grab it before it's too late. Link to the free ebook and training videos is in the description below. Appearance. The extra large size as hands down this breed's defining feature. Great Dane's height spans 28 to 32 inches at the shoulder, and their weight can fall anywhere between 110 to 175 pounds. The Apollo of Dogs is also recognizable by his long, narrow, rectangular head, deep-set eyes, and thoughtful expression. They're very regal, Durst says. They're strong and they're powerful, and they have a great temperament overall. Great Danes have a short coat with a lot of range. They can be black, black and white, blue, brindle, fawn, and white. It can quickly get expensive to own a dog as large as a Great Dane. Make sure you have the budget to properly care for one before you bring home a puppy. Temperament. Sociable, friendly, and loving, Great Danes are simply delightful. They're terrific family dogs and, despite their towering height, are typically gentle around children, smaller dogs and cats. If you have smaller kids at home, make sure to supervise them around your Dane, after all, he's so big he might accidentally step on them. They don't get the nickname, Gentle Giants, for nothing. Durst says a well-trained Great Dane is so good with kids. He'll usually be able to withstand ear and tail pulling young children might subject them to. I always think of the Scooby-Doo personality. They're like that, she says. Living needs. As social dogs, Great Danes prefer to spend time around humans and other animals rather than in solitude. A large, fenced-in yard will let them comfortably stretch their lumbering legs as desired. But as long as they get the exercise they need, we're talking two or three walks each day. A big yard isn't a deal breaker. They're big, so they're going to need to get out and run a little bit, but they're not these dogs that have boundless energy, Durst says. I see them on a couch a lot of the time. In fact, it's possible for a Great Dane to get too much of a workout. The dogs grow so rapidly that, according to the Great Dane Lovers Association of Western Australia, Owners should wait until their pup is 18 months old to take him hiking or jogging to preserve the his growing joints. Care. Great Danes are big. And because of their sheer size, caring for them can get expensive. They eat more food than smaller dogs and, if taking medication, require larger doses as well. If they need surgery, they also need more anesthesia, which can raise the cost. When you're getting one of these dogs, the cost is really something to consider, Durst says. They're definitely more expensive. Health. Like with most large dog breeds, the Great Dane can be prone to a number of health issues. I always emphasize when I see a Great Dane puppy how fast they'll grow, and the diseases they get even when they are younger to middle age, Durst says. 
The Great Dane lifespan is relatively short at 7 to 10 years. These larger breeds don't tend to live as long as some of the smaller breeds, and Great Danes are one of those in particular where I think people are like, oh I want to have this dog, it's going to live 12 or 14 years. And that's just not the Great Dane lifespan at all. History. The Dane part of the name can be confusing, but the breed has German, not Danish, origins. In his own motherland, he's referred to as the Deutsche, or German, dog. Though bred to be boarhounds and guard dogs for estates and carriages, by the late 1600s German noblemen were breeding them as pets. Today, they're more likely to serve as loyal companions rather than hunting in the field. The AKC recognized the Great Dane as a breed in 1887, and it's still one of the 20 most popular breeds in the US. Do you want to have a well-behaved, obedient and calm pet dog without spending hours in training him? Check out the first link in the description and download the Secret Training Technique Guide absolutely free. It is available for free only for a limited period of time. Thanks for watching the video. Comment below if you liked the video. Please subscribe to the channel, Little Paws Training, if you are serious about training and grooming your dog. Also, join our Facebook group where you get all the solutions to your daily doggy problems.